Hello, UCAR. Peter Christensen here, coming to you from the CEO's desk. Going to talk about a specific form today. We're going to talk about form UAR form 70. Seven zero. Do you know they have that many? Seven zero. They have more than that, I think. Uh, so this form is the real estate brokerage payment addendum. All right. Really briefly, what does this form do? This is a this is an addendum to the Repsi, and it's basically the buyer asking the seller to pay some of the buyer's agent's commission. So for some reason, buyer wants to offset a potential cost to buyer in paying buyer's uh, brokerage. So they're asking, hey, seller, I'm asking you as part of this contract to pay part of my uh, brokerage uh, fee that will be coming. Okay, so the question is, is specific. I, th I think we've gone through this form before in the past, but this is a specific question. I had a good one uh, last week on this uh, uh, form, and that is, how does this relate to a BAC in the MLS? So let's say a BAC is being offered. Let's say uh, you know, we know that can be a dollar amount. It can be a percentage. It really could be anything that the listing brokerage and seller want to put in there. And so uh, let's say it's, uh, you know, let's say it's a $5,000. I don't know. Could be anything in there, right? Five thousand dollar BAC, and uh, let's say buyer says, "Well, you know, I'm going to owe my buyer's agent a little money in this deal. I would love for the seller to pick up some of that." So they send over a uh, you know one percent, two percent. Let's say let's say let's say one percent. They send over in the in the uh, real estate brokerage payment addendum that seller will pay 1% of the purchase price in a fee to the buyer's brokerage. So how does this now relate to the uh, $5,000 the listing agent was offering through the, the MLS? Uh, the question is, does it replace it? That was the question. And uh, the, the answer is no. No. This addendum operates independently from the BAC. So it doesn't matter what's in the BAC. That is still being offered by the listing brokerage to the buyer's brokerage. It's completely separate from this. And so there's really no relation between the two. There's no tie to the two. So even if, uh, let's say, listing broker were to change that BAC in the process, it doesn't affect what was put in addendum number 70, uh, not number 70, <laughs> it's numbered 70 out of the library, but it'll be numbered differently in your contract. So real estate, it doesn't matter what's in the real estate broker's payment addendum, that will, that will stand alone. So they don't uh, correlate. Um, I get it, it's, they're both something being offered to the buyer's brokerage, but it doesn't replace the BAC, what's in this real estate broker's payment addendum. So it's in addition to, and it says it right in there in uh, paragraph one, second line, it says this payment shall be made in addition to any other compensation offered by the seller's brokerage to buyer's brokerage. So there it's referencing specifically the BAC. It's in addition to that. Those two uh, are independent from each other. So hopefully that answers that question. Uh, remember, this is not specific legal advice. This is legal information only. If you need specific legal advice, please contact your attorney. Thanks for tuning in.